Hello. Today we'll discuss the female athlete triad. Women participating in athletic sports have increased greatly in the last decade. With this increase, injury levels are also increasing and have disorders that are specific to females. The female athlete triad was first described by the American College of Sports Medicine in 1993 and consists of amenorrhea, loss of a woman's period, disordered eating such as bulimia, anorexia, or a mixed case, and a decrease in bone mineral density. The triad is most common in female dancers, gymnasts, and high-impact aerobic athletes. Incidence in ballet dancers is 10 to 20 percent, while incidence in the general population is 5 percent. It is often difficult to recognize and has a high morbidity and mortality rate. Female athlete triad is caused by an energy drain or caloric deficit. This leads to a decrease in luteinizing hormone, pulsatility, and low levels of estrogen and progesterone. The concept of a well-balanced diet in an athlete is of huge importance. The diet must consist of increasing hydration as the athlete sweats with exercise and needs to replenish the water loss. It also includes a carbohydrate source for providing energy to fuel the body for strenuous activity. Protein is important for energy and muscle rebuilding. Two to three servings of dairy products or calcium supplementation are key for female bone integrity and strength. All of these dietary components help to keep the athlete in top shape and on their A-game. Disordered eating consists of anorexia nervosa, bulimia, or a mixed condition of the two. Studies show that most athletes with eating disorders have an associated psychological condition such as anxiety, depression, or obsessive compulsive disorder. Decreased bone mineral density is determined by comparing chronological age and sex using a Z-score distribution for premenopausal athletes. A T-score is used to measure bone mineral density in postmenopausal women. Physicians measure bone mineral density by a DEXA scan. Sports medicine physicians complete an annual pre-participation sports physical for all athletes high school age to adult professional that screens for the triad. Many athletes go undetected for the triad as they will not openly speak about their disorders. Often, the first sign of the female athlete triad is stress fracture or decreased performance. Treatment must include a team approach with the patient, patient's family, primary care physician, sports psychologist, and dietitian. Most important, if you think you have any of the triad disorders, please visit your primary care physician for evaluation and treatment. For more information and a clinical evaluation, please go to sdsm.com.